Um, this is about darks. Uh, I wanted to use those plates that you'll see. I wanted to use some dark color, black usually. I mean, but dark. Some of them other ways dark. And um, and I wanted to have people try to focus on working out from those darks if you can, um, using that as what sets sets up the um, continuous thread, as you'll see. So, and then the other thing that happens with those three um, wall pieces is uh, there is a play, which we often do, a play between the tulips, the tulips on the plates, the flowers, sometimes tulips and iris, in, within the um, dark scarves, I mean, centered with dark colors. Um, the, um, I, for one second, think uh, maybe do some swatches, which could be kind of fun, um, of dark blacks. Some of you may have black on your palette. Some of you don't at all. Some of you, I also sort of integrated with this, if some of you bought the little graphite cake, or had it anyway, um, this uh, is another way to, to you know, in integrate the dark, maybe with a line. For, uh, think about darks for one minute. Um, and if you can, take a piece of scrap and play a little with them. Um, play with mixes, I think on my handout, I, I listed a few that just came right to my mind. One that I often use, um, this is if you aren't using a black, too black. Um, I do have lunar black usually on my palette, but which I love because it does different kinds of stuff. But there are those who may have other blacks. And I have noticed um, Margetta, Shirley Trevina, um, she, hers is ivory black. Um, often, I mean, she uses a lot of blacks, but anyway, uh, so there are straight blacks, but uh, what was I going to say? Um, purple, uh, a, a nice rich purple, carbazole violet, and perylene green can combine in combinations that you play with into a beautiful black, um, or let's just call it a dark, but black, you know, what is black after all? After all, it's the absence. No, it's the presence. Negative. It's all the colors. negative. Negative all colors. White is the present, I mean, in terms of yeah. color theory and light. Doesn't um, make sense, it doesn't make sense, but that's why <laughs> that's why we remember it. Yes, right. um, uh, then there are others like uh, a, a strong red, like alizarin. Um, there are others, and um, the old alizarin. The old alizarin makes them much darker than. The yes, the the other one, which is better in every many ways, and also for mm -hmm. lazy kind exactly. of thing. Exactly, Windsor Green. With Windsor <laughs> Green is a good one, and and you can try it with other greens. Um, I'm sorry, alizarin red with. Well, uh, Windsor, Green. Windsor Green. If you had, if some people have phthalo green. If you have a lizard and phthalo green. A lizard and Windsor. Windsor. And uh, ultramarine, ultramarine blue. And ultramarine blue, which is one of the toughest when you're trying for a black to control and not just have purple, which is yeah. fine, because purple is fine. But in, for all of these uh, things, you have to you have to arrive at what how you would like to uh, uh, handle this black, it may end up very differently, like a purple, or it may be, you'd even say a gray or whatever. So you work with that. Anytime you're working with black or the concept of black, think also about the grays. Um, and actually, there's certain of those uh, cloth scarves things where you might be playing with just that uh, range. Um, when you do, if you take the time to to just do a scratch thing with the blacks. Have a lot of fun, because when you're working with a really deep color, um, uh, you get the, the opportunity to, um, to come back with washes. Uh, I'll just do uh, uh, OK, there's Carbazole Violet, which is a Beautiful rich um, thing. And here is uh, Paraline Green. Um, and um, remember when you're doing colors, um, it's in the washout that that they start to be just wash out. 
uh, other, you know, like a, a purplish or a gray. In the rich, pure thing, if it, if it were a little swatch, it would be, you know, serve as black. Then, um, come back, well, I already did in that way, come back with some water. Oh, oh well, do, let me do one with um, lunar black so you can see what lunar black does. Uh, here's lunar black. Uh, see what it does immediately. It has this granulation, which is so much fun. And it is fun to actually add it into uh, something else. Um, and you'll get this. But here, when you, you know, you can just drop a bit of water, say, let's do it, right? Um, and watch some of the crazy stuff that will happen. Um, again, here's a thing where you play with, with this kind of backwashes and blossoms and everything. Um, think of, um, uh, you have to play with the drying time too. You might let it dry a little longer and then <coughs> drop something like. So in these things that I've set up on the wall, if you, those of you who are doing them, um, think, you know, I, you're trying to talk about how, what interesting things can happen within that working towards those blacks. All of us sometimes use and know of black or very, very dark as, as saving a painting sometimes, as being the thing that, you know, if you're working with something's not working. And Wang, you sometimes you just go in and say, all right, I'm gonna put, I want all this butter to pop right out. I'm gonna put a real dark background and the butter's gonna sink. Or, or an accent that it's partly a, that draws your eye, but it, it can it can solve a, a, an area. It also can create edges and things like that that will, you know, again pop. So some some of it is is um, tricks tricky things to fool you as a salvation in a painting. But now that one of the things that you might want to just really work with is um, uh, thinking from the beginning about black. Some of you might have indigo. Uh, some of you might have Prussian, uh, um, but this this can create some wonderful yeah. darks too. I'm just going to leave it a little swatch like that again, so you see how yes. it how it works out. It is so, okay, the power of water. I did put Vuillard up here. Um, um, I think I might do a Vuillard class again. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But is he? So this is the preamble. Um, oh, to yeah. we are yeah, get uh, into the black. Look, look what he does with shape, dark. Um, talk about salvation. I mean, though that's not salvation, but it's these punching up. So you get these unbelievable shapes, and what's beside that, like these uh, vital tulips or whatever, um, mm -hmm. shape, edge. And the black is no black. space. It's and black is what? Yeah, flat. There's yes. no modeling. And no. So yeah. that makes you focus more on the, all the patterns. All these and shapes patterns. and patterns. patterns from yeah. the Absolutely. Uh, That's it. That's so, it. you know, some of them, there are. That's there's so more so called space. Um, some of these are so. Oh, anyway, that's a whole other. I don't want to go too much. Um, so, there you are.